Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another super, super cool clinch art model to take a look at, and as you can quite clearly see, we've got ourselves a Spinosaurus, and this definitely looks like a really neat looking version of a Spino, definitely one expressing quite a bit of attitude as it looks a little angry, but as a whole, it's a really beautiful looking version of a Spinosaurus, really nice looking detail from what we can see so far, and it also sports kind of like that classic clinch art style base, the same type of base we've seen with every one of the releases that we have reviewed so far, which this is now the third as we have reviewed a T-Rex, an Allosaurus pair, and now the Spinosaurus. And uh, again, what I had done before with these was I actually had painted them prior to the review and then had reviewed them once they were painted. What I'm going to do and what I've been doing lately is kind of reviewing them unpainted and then paint them up to show you how cool they'll look. So basically, it'll give you a good idea of what it would look like when it arrives to you and what it could look like potentially, you know, afterwards once you get it painted up. And I feel like that's probably the better method as far as these reviews go of different model kits and stuff. So that's what we're going to do. So let's jump to a closer look at this Spinosaurus right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Spinosaurus, you can see that it is sculpted with its mouth in an open position, which shows us all of the really nice looking teeth on the Spinosaurus and you can see that they all genuinely look sharp they look really quite realistic as a whole and the Spinosaurus isn't all that large you could see here you know its head within my hands so it's very impressive to see how nice those teeth look considering the size you can also see that there is a tongue sculpted there very nicely on the inside of the mouth and uh, the head sculpt as a whole looks really nice you've got that you know nice small crest up there on the top of the head of the Spinosaurus you can also see the skin texture looks really quite nice throughout the face, but I feel like we won't really get, well, we're losing focus. We won't really get too good of an idea as far as how nice the skin texture looks until we get some paint on it. But you can see some nice wrinkling increasing there in the eye socket area. As you start to lead back here into the neck, you've got some nice skin here kind of wrinkling and folding here in the lower part of the neck. Some nice curvatures in the throat region there. And you can also see kind of like some tensing in the neck of the Spinosaurus as well. You definitely have some nice skin texture moving back into the neck region as you move back a little further we have more phenomenal looking skin texture and i really feel like you start to appreciate how nice the skin texture looks as you reach here into like the shoulder area and very much so once you reach into the stomach region but you can see again some nice movement here as far as like the positioning of the arm and the way the skin is reacting there on the body some nice muscle definition moving down the arm you've got the elbow present there on the back of the arm and as you move down into the hands you can see the hands are sculpted pretty nicely very nice bend in the fingers and you've got some nicely sculpted out fingernails as well as you lead back up here into the stomach region again you can really take notice to how nice that skin texture looks especially down here in the lower part of the stomach you can see the skin kind of stretching off of the stomach because the leg here is trailing and it just looks beautiful really hyped to get some paint work on this one as we move up here into the sail the sail as well has some absolutely gorgeous looking skin texture and everything up here really nice scale detail to the sail area as you move back down you can see the hip bone right there as well as some nicely defined musculature there in the thigh and then leading down into the calf as well you've got a nice kneecap and some nice scoots down the toes also a nice curve to the toes here as you can see the spinosaurus is taking a step the foot's about to leave the ground so we have the toes kind of leaving the ground here as far as the positioning goes and you've got some nicely sculpted out nails yet again and then as we lead up here into the tail and you lead back you have that beautiful sail here running along the upper and kind of on the underside here as far as that paddle like tail for our spinosaurus which looks really cool you've also got some nice curves to the tail as you lead out very elegant looking curves i would say and then as you lead over here to the opposing side you can yet again see how nice that head sculpt looks just absolutely cannot wait to get some paint work on this and then you can lead back here you can see a little bit of wrinkling and everything right there behind the jaws because you can see the movement of the jaws opening kind of wrinkling the skin there again some nice sculpting and detailing here in the throat region as well as the tensing and everything in the neck leading back you can see how the elbow is kind of pressing into the stomach a little bit right here and wrinkling the skin the arms held into the body a little bit more so than what we see on the opposing side you can see it's kind of out away from the body whereas this side the elbow is kind of pushed into the body a little bit 
Really nice looking hand sculpt, yet again, just like we saw on the initial side, again, nicely sculpted out nails, and you can see a little less of the stomach here because the dinosaur is taking a step forward, so it's kind of obscuring the stomach a little on this side, but you can still, again, get a good look here at the skin texture and everything in the stomach region as we lead up into the sail. You can yet again see how nice the detailing is in the sail, and then as you move down, you've got the muscle definition in the thigh and calf over here again, the kneecap. And then the really nice looking foot sculpt, there is a nail missing, which I think I might have broken off by accident or potentially may have come off in transit. I'm not entirely sure, but I actually kind of like that because I'm going to keep it that way to sort of insinuate the appearance of like a nail being broken off on the Spinosaurus rather than finding it. I actually kind of like that. And you can see dew claws and everything for the Spinosaurus. And then as you lead up yet again, you've got some more skin wrinkles and stuff leading out here and that beautiful very elegant curve to the tail of the Spinosaurus. Detail-wise, the underside as well is phenomenal. You can even see like musculature in the chest and everything. So definitely a really cool looking Spinosaurus. Can't wait to get some paint on this. And then the base is very similar actually to the last few bases that we had had as we have kind of like a nice rocky area here. And you also have the footprints of the Spinosaurus there to kind of give you a spot to glue it or stand it on. I'm going to glue mine because I always like to glue them on. I just feel like it makes me more at ease, makes me feel like they're a lot safer once they're glued on. But you can also see an area down here with some smaller kind of stones and earthy type of an area and everything. I think I might actually give this maybe some water and stuff here because it would make a nice appearance of a Spinosaurus standing next to some water. But definitely looks awesome. Again, it looks very highly detailed, just like every one of these bases have so far. So let's go ahead, get this painted, and we'll check it out from there. So here is our Spinosaurus now painted and definitely looking pretty cool. I did go with a bit of a flashier color scheme for it this time. But I always like uh, greens on Spinosaurus. I always feel like greens are just really nice to look at on Spinosaurus and it just you know always looks natural to me so I did go with some nice variations of greens but I also put you know oranges reds yellows all kinds of coloration of course browns and everything and I feel like again once you add some paint application to the Spinosaurus it is just a whole nother animal like it looks fantastic once you add some color and it is really impressive the sculpting and detailing is super impressive on the Spinosaurus but again you can really see how impressive the sculpt is when it comes to the detailing once again it has some paint application on it and even though it's a little bit of a flashier color scheme than I would normally go for which lately I've been kind of trying to head a little out of my comfort zone and kind of give my figures a little bit more coloration but I feel like this one still looks fairly natural overall. I actually had inspiration from a book that I recently acquired at a local Ollie's. There was a really cool image of the Spinosaurus inside the book, so I went ahead and kind of replicated the coloration that they had on it, but added my own flair to a few areas, and again, it turned out really nice for what I would like to see on my Spinosaurus. I was actually pretty happy with the final product, and like I said, once there's some paint application on it, you just can't dare deny how impressive of a sculpt this Spinosaurus has. Like, it just looks like a very, very big, very impressive dinosaur. And at the same time, quite majestic and overall beautiful, especially with that really nice paddle-like tail out there. But hopefully my paint job has done this figure justice, because it did take quite a while to get that paint job done. And then, of course, we have the base. And I went ahead and gave the base... A little bit of a glossy look to it and then of course a water effect around the rocky area because the base as a whole I felt like would look best with kind of a watery area so I have like a water effect kind of running along the outer edge of the base and this in my opinion would just be like a little rocky formation in the middle or near the edge but obviously it's completely surrounded by water you could see water on all sides and I as well thought that this turned out pretty nice again what I would like to see for a Spinosaurus I feel like this definitely looks like what I would like to see for a Spino so the base was also pretty nice and I also actually wanted to show you guys the toe here that was missing the nail I kind of give it that little bit of a bloody look so it looks like the nail was broken off at some point so when you get a model like this and he, if you happen to break a piece off like I often do or it breaks in transit again it's not a lost cause you could just give it that look and I feel like it adds a whole nother element of realism 
to the model, but I'm really excited to actually get this put on the base, glue it on and everything. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And there we go. Our Spinosaurus is now on its base looking really, really cool. Definitely excited about seeing it up on the base and just in general having the scene complete here. But as far as a size goes for the Spinosaurus, you are looking at about the, I would say about nine and a half inches or around 23 and a half, maybe a little bit over 23, closing in on 24 centimeters. And for a height, the highest point is obviously the sail. You were looking at about just under four and three quarter inches or around 12 centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our incredibly beautiful clinch art spinosaurus and you can definitely see at this size range it's definitely a convenient size it's not overly massive it's not anything that's going to take up too much room in your collection area or on your desktop or wherever you are interested in putting it again size wise it is really quite nice and then for another size we have the spinosaurus and t-rex both from clinch art here next to each other and you can definitely see that the T-Rex is a lot more Jurassic Park-ish as far as the sculpt goes. The Spinosaurus, not so much. The Spinosaurus is definitely almost like a mixture of Jurassic Park-ish, but a lot more updated of an appearance, more modern look for a Spinosaurus. So a really cool, healthy dose, I would say, of both. But you can definitely see that the Figures are a little bit similar in size, but the Spinosaurus is a bit bigger. And then we've got ourselves the Clinch Art Allosaurus model that I have recently reviewed here on the channel as well. And you can definitely see the Spinosaurus is a good bit bigger than the Allosaurus is, so not much of a contest here when it comes to a size. And then we'll give the Spinosaurus the randoms treatment as we have the Safari LTDU Tyrannus, the Schleich Diabloceratops, and the Collect A Deluxe Dimetrodon next to our Clinch Art Spinosaurus here, just to give you one last idea as far as a size goes for this absolutely beautiful Spinosaurus model. So this Clinch Art Spinosaurus is yet another phenomenal release from clinch art like i am really loving these models and really impressed with what they have in their lineup and like what i have shown you guys so far is such a small dose of what clinch art has to offer they have tons and tons of figures and are consistently adding new ones to their lineup all the time so if you are, you know, interested in anything you see here, I really recommend checking out their Facebook page or any of their social media accounts in general. And of course, their website to see all of the incredible models that they have to offer. But this Spinosaurus is yet another phenomenal release from them. I really, really love the sculpt of this. Like, it is beautiful. I love the entire thing, like the pose. Everything is awesome about this. It just looks so ferocious, so impressive when it comes to just the bulkiness but also, again, like the facial expression of the Spinosaurus. Like, it definitely looks like a Spinosaurus on a bad day. It's not one I would want to encounter. Even if it were out fishing or something along those lines, I still would not want to be the unfortunate creature anywhere near this Spinosaurus because it looks like maybe he's been fishing for too long and hasn't had much luck and he's getting aggravated. Regardless, again, really highly detailed. They've captured all the detail you would like to see on this when it comes to, like, you know, skin folding, skin wrinkling, and also the really nice skin texture, specifically in the stomach. Like, you can really see in the stomach and up in the sail how nice that skin texture looks. But it's very nice, very, very highly detailed. And, of course, the paint job was done by me. If you were going to purchase a clinch art model, you'd have to paint it yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that because I love painting models. So I recommend everybody try that and just give it a shot. See how you enjoy painting models because, honestly, it is probably the greatest pastime I have ever encountered in my life and it's always so cool to be able to finish a model and then stand back and look at it and just be proud of what you did and again take part in bringing your model to life and hopefully my paint job that I applied to my Spinosaurus has done the sculpt justice and uh, 
looks pretty good again i actually quite like it i'm definitely happy with the final product even if it again is a little flashier than i would normally paint my dinosaurs on the plus side it's not brown because the last two clinch art models i painted were both brown so now i have one that's not but again if you are interested in picking some of these up you basically would be able to purchase the stl files from clinch art and then you just have to either print the model out yourself or find someone to print it for you because that's how it usually works when it comes to the STL files and stuff like that. So if you are interested, of course, what you need to do would be to go follow them on all of their social media accounts because I will include all of that information in the description. You can also join the Discord server of Clinch Art, which is a great way to interact with them and uh, of course to converse about purchasing their files or just to find out about what else they're going to be working on, what they have coming out. Definitely a great way to go when it comes to interacting with Clinch Art. And then of course, I will include a link to the website as well where you can check everything out they have there and purchase yourself some of the incredible dinosaurs they have from their website as well. So one way or another, I really recommend checking out Clinch Art, grabbing yourself some of their amazing models, specifically this Spinosaurus. So make sure you do that and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.